before the video starts, make sure you follow our socials in the description and subscribe so you never miss an episode. Welcome back to Yoppy Podcast, people. Back again this week, joined by two very special guests from Berry AFC, Benito Lowe and Jackson. How are we, boys? Good, thank you, mate. How are you? Very good. Happy to get you both coming. I mean, you're not really travelled very far, to be fair, but no. coming coming down and started chatting about football. So you both play for Berry, don't you? Berry AFC at the moment. Yeah, yeah, Berry AFC. Yeah, um, been a bit of a bit of a whirlwind so far. Everything happened so fast. Obviously, getting the club back um, and then getting the team together all happened within. I think it's about two months, wasn't it? Yeah, two months. So what happened? We just did. You just get a manager. Did like the manager just simply go round in like a couple of months and just start belling everyone up? Essentially, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just within sort of a month, two months, just was as soon as as soon as everything happened and they were saying like, right, gig lanes back, the team are together, the the part of the FA again and and whatnot. They just said, right, he's got a team to get together and that's that's what he did. Ran round and clash, can't go playing with the team, yeah. So what's it like playing for Berry at the moment in time? Because you, you are the biggest ever step five club, technically. Oh, it's mad. Yeah, technically, yeah. yeah. It's, like I say, it's added pressure for us. Because like in the North West County's average crowd, what did you say? 50. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I've been glossed a few times and there's been 100 there. And yeah, that's say, a decent, decent crowd. You're, that, two, you're 200 attendants and that. And then like this year, it's like first game was five and a half thousand. Second one was probably three and a half, four, and then. But away, I say like away games, like home games, now, aren't they? Yeah, it's a joke. How many is people it? do you get travelling for away? Thousand, thousand, yeah. Fucking it's a, hell, thousand. we two don't even travel that well. Yeah, within your town the other week, they they get about hundred and fifty, don't they? Yeah, two hundred. And I think that there was a thousand Berry fans there, easy, if not more. And you See go that? to an away game and you just feel like you're at home because. They're constantly like singing or yeah, whatever, yeah. and you just you you feel like you're at home. There's no abuse coming, or not that you can hear. You know, sort of thing. It's not like a hostile environment because everywhere you go, there's more Berry fans than there is sort of home fans. You can't complain without looking, but I suppose it's kind of easy for Berry because everywhere's what like an hour drive maximum. Yeah, in like, your I, mean, I, speak, I spoke to a fan the other day, and he was like, "They probably didn't take this away, fellow, as much when they're in the league because obviously you've got teams down south and stuff mm-hmm. like that on a Tuesday, but." Yeah, like Paddy on a Tuesday is probably 25 minutes away from Berry, so yeah, the, the support's mad. I mean, I, if I was a Berry fan, I'd be going to like most games. It's 25 minutes drive, you can't complain, can you, rather than. No, like I said, I think the, the furthest away is this year is Kendall, isn't it? And we'll, we'll take, we'll take six, 700 there. Yeah, I'm, I'm at least. Sure, yeah. But... yeah, it's on a Saturday as well, so people can. It's not like it's a Tuesday night or whatever. Like, I think like Paddy and for us, because of where we live, it's probably an hour drive, isn't it? An hour, yeah. Um, but Berry's quite central to to, to the rest of the league. Play, so yeah, yeah, yeah. tomorrow's bank holiday at Charnock away. I think we'll take over a thousand. Fucking hell! For an away game as well. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. What time is it? I'm hoping they're all on it now on bank holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on straight through. <laughs> Getting warm and then going straight through to Charnock away. <laughs> some people will definitely be doing that right now. Hundred percent. Uh, I mean, I, I know some people who support lower teams and they. It's, F- f- football's a full weekend, isn't it, nowadays? Yeah, it is nowadays, yeah. It's, yeah, it is. Yeah, don't blame him at all. Um, so, so it's kind of like going back to Berry then, like Berry AFC. So, like, what what's the goal for this year? Are you looking at sort of like straight promotion or That's is it just kind of like a... That's the aim, isn't it? Yeah. I think, as much as you, you don't like to say it, I think we've we've got to win the league, really, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, it's... There's, there's no... The, 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 the goal is we've, we've got to win the league. And... Mm. Personally, for me, I think we we need to we could we get need to get to the the vast final as well. So we've got to do well, well in both of them, but like, yeah, we're out the FA Cup as well now, aren't we? Yeah, so that's the aim, that's stuff. the aim, especially with the vars. I think like you saying, we think we've only got four or five games away from Wembley. Obviously, the first one's always important, yeah. and we haven't we we don't know who we're playing in that yet. Um, but yeah, the league, it's like one of them. You don't want to, you don't want to say oh, we're on the league because you want to keep it quite quiet, but. The size of the club we are and where we're at, everyone yeah, you, knows. You, yeah, everyone yeah. knows what that's the aim. Um, so yeah, you can't sort of sugarcoat it, can you? It's like it's like Wrexham or County going into League Two. Like everyone's expecting them to push on and win the league, aren't they? Like yeah. the size of the club, it's just one of them you, you kind of think about. So I, I want to talk about a bit about FA Vars because I think it's fascinating, especially for people who don't really follow lower league football. So like FA Vars is just for like is it step five, step six, or is it four, yeah. five, and six? 
Five and six. Five and six, yeah. yeah so And then the trophy is we're actually list. we're actually the highest yeah the highest highest league in it yeah yeah, yeah. um so yeah obviously he's won he's won it yeah you were with Warrington Surprise Island weren't you surprised he's not mentioned that <laughs> <laughs> that's why I brought his conversation <laughs> early on don't worry I'm I'm with it again <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was at so Warrington wasn't it it's a good day out so what, what was it like playing at Wembley then for like a lower league side uh, yeah mad it's mad. Not really any other way to, to put it. Yeah. Uh, you get there and it's obviously because it's it's on BT Sport, um, and so I didn't I didn't realise everything that goes into like the, the timing and stuff. I, I've told you and obviously when we we're travelling down to games and stuff and we talk about stuff and I didn't realise like how like structured everything is. Like you have to go with. Check a full the, schedule. Like, like, yeah. So when when we, walk, when we walked in the changing room, there was like a big billboard up in there, and it was like. We, I think we kicked off at half 12 or something so it was like half 11 teams out for warm up you have to come in and then it's like it's not like just like every 5-10 minutes it's yeah, like yeah. It, it'd be like 12-13 you have to be out in the um, have to be out in the corridor ready to go into the tunnel like 13 minutes past because everything's so structured to how the team yeah, is yeah. going rep- to present the game and I was just I was like this is mad. I and think that make it more nerve wracking for me. Well, that's when it got. That's when it was sort of like, oh, we're in, we're, we're going to be on telly here. That could because of yeah, because yeah. of what was what was on there. Otherwise, like, once was once, obviously once you're playing and stuff, I could have been on the park. Yeah, yeah. I didn't I didn't realize like where I was because obviously you're concentrating on the game, so it didn't really matter where I was. I didn't realize I was I was playing at Wembley or whatever. I could have been on the local park. It, it, I didn't realize where I was, but. Yeah, that before it, I wasn't nervous at all. But like when you start seeing that, you think, "Oh no, there's loads of people watching that." Yeah, on BT Sport, it's pretty, pretty mental. Yeah. So, what what what's the pitch like? It's, it's, it's like a carpet. I know you said you're like playing on the park, but yeah, it's okay. a very good park. Yeah, it was a carpet, um, uh, massive. Probably yeah, the big, very very big pitch. Like Gig Lane, a lot of people don't realize how, how big that oh, is. Oh, that's big. Like it's what compared to the league? It takes is it? teams. It like, takes teams by surprise. Like. It's, it is massive. I'm speaking to the centre half halfway into the game and that's fucking big this bit, isn't it? He's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah a big, big suit up like yeah. banker. Yeah. Well, like you say, it's a league pitch, isn't it? Like, yeah, yeah. We'll play a, we played away at Colne and Paddy and it's tight, like tight pitches. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't imagine what Wembley's like. Yeah. That's it's bigger, bigger. Like, I think I, I'm pretty sure it was bigger than, than Giggling and it's... I was gone after eight minutes. I had nothing left in my leg. <laughs> <laughs> eight minutes, yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah just, just carry yeah, on. Yeah, and the adrenaline had carried me for twenty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, do you find with Berry, like teams coming to Berry because of how good the kind of surfaces is? Do you feel like teams like raise the game for that? So it's our conversation, isn't it, before every game? I mean, well, yeah. Well, I I mentioned that on the podcast I was on the other day. Me and him played for Wivenshaw Town. Yeah, yeah. And we was playing Berry on a Saturday. We'd be buzzing. We'd be driving down buzzing with our chest up like yeah, that's going to happen. So it's not like I get, can't say oh, raising your game today. I would. But Everyone does, would. Wouldn't it they? does, it yeah. does happen. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's our conversations. Like that's why I say it's a little bit of added pressure because everyone wants to beat us. Yeah. Like this year. Um, so yeah, it's everyone like I said wants to beat us and it adds that little bit of pressure because everyone wants wants to play a gig lane. Yeah, but I suppose it also keeps you on top of your game every game. Like you can't have a slack game because if you have a slack like twenty minutes, you're probably gonna be two 0 down and then you've got four thousand people baying for blood, aren't you really? Yeah. So it kind of it works yeah. in both ways, doesn't it really? Yeah. It's a massive club, it. the demands yeah. of them and we've got to take them demands on. Yeah, of course, of course, especially so kind kinda of going back to sort of like your sort of both playing career. So you've both been in and around non league kind of like your whole sort of career, aren't you? Because you were at Curzon I believe he's alright. I was at Curzon, um, Wivenshaw, New Mills, um, Skem. But yeah, I've stayed around non league. Like, we played together as kids. Where but is Skem? I hear people talk about it. Where, where is it? It's the hardest place to get to in the nowhere. fucking world. <laughs> <laughs> like, where roughly is it? I know he's in the North West. Like, I was like, when I used to say it was in Liverpool, Skem people say we're not in Liverpool. Right, it's like so outside it's... of Liverpool. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I played there when I was 17 and. But yeah, like saying that we used to play against each other as kids. That's how me and Jack know each other. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've all I've always stayed like grassroots, and then sometimes filtered out to go into 
to pro clubs, but yeah. Yeah, because that, that, that's not the usual sort of aspect of football. Most of the only players that I've met, it's always been academies and then kind of filter out loans and then filter into sort of non league. But you've just always been sort of like grassroots yeah. from day one. Yeah. Never been good enough. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you say that, but you, you won a trophy, went, but there's not many people who, who have done that who are uh, pro players. Uh, I think, uh, I well. think, non-league players, most of us, like when when you're kids and stuff, you you're at you're at like professional clubs and stuff, and like it, yours, you were a bit obviously different to me. I think I was at old until I was sixteen and stuff. Yeah. And then, I remember you said the other day, didn't you? We both both went to Sheffield United. We both went to Sheffield United on trial and stuff. But yeah. We're good enough, and I don't get up. Uh, it's a, it's a bit brutal though, isn't it? Like the trials yeah, process, because you, you hear people being with the same club from like nine to eighteen and just get dropped straight away, and then they've never experienced men's football. And they don't know what to That's do. That's why I found yeah. it hard at Sheffield United. You know, got there, they're doing pass injuries. I'm fucking looking around, thinking, why we're not playing knockout work? <laughs> <laughs> I'm never used to something like that. <laughs> yeah, some volleys. I wonder how many people are like that though, because like people who come like non league all their life, you used to having a kick about with your mates, aren't you? Or just kind of taking shots at a keeper or just shit like that. But yeah. then I guarantee when I, when I walked away from Sheffield United, they were thinking, who the fucking hell is that kid there? <laughs> never, yeah. done a, never done a passenger on your life. <laughs> no way, you know, so I'd have no idea. I'd be like, what the fuck's happening here? He's run out doing crossbar challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like playing so, so with, with a team like because the social media presence of Barry is, is huge like, I've, I've had probably some of the mo- like most of the questions like I've had for you two probably more questions than I have for every other guest yeah. so like what, what's it like having that huge sort of like, like, sort of like social presence following you as well after every game mad yeah he's poster boy isn't he <laughs> Everyone loves Benito yeah. though. Oh, the, amount, the, amount, hey, the amount of people I've had being like, when's he back? When's yeah. he back? When's he back? Not when's long. he back? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's, it is. It's it's different, isn't it? Yeah, it, it, it's very different. Like you go from even like like you said, he's been at, he's been at Curzon or whatever, Rylands, where we've we've pl- like played higher, and it's mad because you play there and you play in front of. Three, four hundred. Yeah, yeah. And that, that isn't a bad attendance for, for non league. Witten are quite well travelled as well, yeah, aren't they? Like, Witten's yeah. a, a good, very, very good club. And Curzon, it's like the very well known clubs, they, they get okay, like okay following. And three, four hundred in non league, it's not, it isn't bad. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then, but with Berry, it, it's not, as much as it, it's, you say it's non league, it's not a non league club, is it? It's not, it's a football league. I say, like, you, we're. We live, we we train, and we act the way that we get looked after. It's like we're pro players. Really? So it's that. And especially in like little things like when we come out after the game, we've we've been in the ground for an hour, having our food and that, a bit of recovery, mm-hmm. and these people waiting outside like for us to sign things, and then it makes me think. That's mental, isn't it? I, like, we're non league players, but then I think yeah. to them we're there. It's like to the little kids like we see there. Yeah, like, yeah. They look up to us because they're supporting Barry now. They don't know the situation of Barry non league and stuff like that. Yeah. So we're like their heroes in, in a way. And you're going back to work on a Monday at 9 yeah. o'clock. It's mental. But that's it. Yeah. <clears throat> I remember putting a, a, putting a tweet out after um, when we put, like, played at Wembley. I've gone so high. And then I was back in work on a Tuesday and I climbed up. Climbing up poles. Yeah, was he just like yeah, a, putting a harsh yeah. back to reality where yeah. you're like, what's happening here? Yeah, putting a cable, putting a cable up for someone's internet. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and that, that is like the be all and end all. I can be so high and you, you forget about you forget about work on a Saturday and yeah, stuff yeah. like it's your weekend and you're playing football and, and whatnot and then you go back to work on Monday and you just think, oh, well. Yeah. People don't this see is, that about non league, do they? Normal. People don't this see that side of non league. That's non league. Like, yeah. All of us are like at Curzon last year, we've got to spend more on a Tuesday, yeah. get back at. One o'clock at twelve o'clock at night, mm. and then. I mean, you in work the next day. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I I was talking to because we had Cam Mason on uh, keeper. Yeah. yeah. And, he, and he was saying about like because they're, they're they're in the same sort of boat as you were like facilities wise because they've got like a is it four G picture they play yeah, on. Yeah, Curzon facilities. Are yeah, it's a joke. Yeah, it's a great picture. And like for Curzon, they've got the core fan base there, but it, it shocks me to this day how they don't get bigger following. It's weird. I was saying this to Cam because I was like, when I was growing up, it was. Hyde United and Sale Celtic are like the two sort of like more po- most popular clubs. They'll in always the be more popular because yeah, yeah. Of like I'd say a little bit of history and all. 
but they've always had good followings them two clubs yeah people watch this now and go no no I can't believe Ashton and Curzon over years or years ago never merged together because for having two teams in Ashton exactly yeah. it's strange isn't yeah. it because yeah. Yeah. Um, Ashton United are a purse cross aren't they but it's not even not even far, is it? Yeah. No, it's, it's, you, you do it in a bike instead. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I a mean, massive, I, I fucking wouldn't it. It's a <laughs> 15, yeah. 15, it's uphill, isn't it? Like. It's a massive rivalry. But if you think, if them two merge together, it doubles the crowd. Yes. Yeah. It's one of them. It's weird, isn't it? It is weird. I mean, People are going to watch this and go, fuck that, I'm not going to watch yeah. games with them. <laughs> they say yeah, that, but uh, yeah. mer- mergers save clubs, though, from time to time, don't they? Like, it, is, yeah. it is something that needs to happen sort of, at like, a low league level from time to time. Yeah. 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 Definitely does make sense. So, so, so sort of, like, I, I want to know what it's, what it's like being in, sort of, like, the changing room aspect of, sort of, like, a non-league club. Because, obviously, you get players, sort of, coming in and out, don't you, week in, week out. Yeah. So like, do you have like a core group who kind of lead change rooms, so like like music and stuff like that, or is it just kind of everyone chips in? Oh, You're looking like our, key, our keeper does the music, by the way, and it is awful. So but how bad are we talking? Like this playlist, said, yeah, he went Charlton's dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> but like first game of the season, he's he's particular with his stuff, right? And he's put his speaker down, turned on, it's gone. <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> Don't charge it. Don't charge it. First game of the season. <laughs> And so what are you all just looking at each other like what's happening I, know, I think we've got four extension cables coming from the kitchen <laughs> <laughs> can't brew up yeah so yeah it's not, not, I love an on-league changing room I yeah. love changing rooms in general like the, the, that's what I'll miss where, like when, when I retire and you speak to people don't you Ruth? that's why I think I'll always stay involved me like I will eventually move into coaching move into yeah yeah, yeah. That, is that what you want to do yeah that's, that's what, what anything I want to do that because um, I love that aspect of the changing room I love the football like the football's first but like when you're winning you're together, playing with your mates aren't you every, yeah, every week and you have a close group like if you've not got a good changing room I always say this if you've not got a good changing room you're not, you're not going to perform well you need to fuck off no. yeah yeah it makes sense so yeah. like, why, why could could you not think about coaching at all like, like do you know it's funny like I always say to people like, I'm not I'm not I'm not a massive fan of, of football oh I'm the same like I, I like City. I'll, I, f- yeah. I follow City. I'll watch. I'll watch, I'll watch City. Yeah. Um, I'll play footy. I'll watch. I'll watch our games back. Um, and then, but other than that, I don't. I literally don't have an interest. I hate. You know. You know when you go in a pub on a Saturday night or whatever, or, and you're in there and people try and talk to you about football, like even like my games and stuff like. Yeah. yeah. People I, go like, oh, how would you get on today? I just go, yeah, one, one, two, one, and I'll just and I'll try and just uh, like just. Oh, conversation. Don't ask me about Wembley. Before we talk about, <laughs> <laughs> I just I knew he was gonna give me pellets. Well, <laughs> um, yeah, I just I'll just I, I just don't like talking about stuff. I'll just say, yeah, one, two, one, cheers. How are you? And try to talk about something else. Just, yeah, I most no people. Like, like Cam was football. saying the same. He was like, yeah, I just don't talk about football with anyone. Yeah, I hate talking about it. You, you talk about. It. I love football. Yeah. So <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't, cheese. I love it. I'm going to jump up and watch football. No, really? Because you could so have so many bad could, opinions. You could have Billy, who's a United fan, who think he's talking about ten eye dropping players, and he don't have a fucking clue. <laughs> oh no, yeah, yeah, agreed. I find that the same with like sports, like boxing. Boxing's the worst. I can't one. watch boxing. Oh. Out. So oh. Everyone's a professional on a Saturday night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Boxing, Eddie, all the Eddie Earns are out shadow boxing <laughs> at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> you, can't watch that out. you just described Manchester right there, yeah. like hundred so percent. I'm like that, but yeah, I love football. So you constantly everything's all about football. Not all about football, but I could watch any like. You'd watch it if it's like all them them random games yeah, yeah. that are on like on a Friday night. So you got like lead two. He'd, oh, he'd watch it. Watch Would it. you? Yeah. So in fact, I, I, I watch them occasionally, but it's not. It's very rare. I, it's, I don't get football abroad, like because I I just do, like, do you like people who watch a Bundesliga at like eight oh, o'clock Sunday at night. night for me, Serie A. See, I all oh, over that, it. That is the worst league. In the world, yeah, but I'm I, don't, I don't get it. it. I just don't get it. Draw. But you don't have an emotional like connection to the team, or so. Like, how do you get so invested with it? Because I just love football. <laughs> just, just got. So, <laughs> so, do you look at it like a form of a player? Like you're looking at like the striker. Nah, I don't look. No, you just nah. literally looking at it purely as a fan. Just, uh, I won't watch that. He's he's watching like I could play in there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Straight away, <laughs> get me all top. How the fuck do I came? That's a question though. Say if we put you in a league two outfit right now, say you're up front for like Wrexham or County, how many goals do you reckon you score? I don't have a clue. I know I get booked. <laughs> <laughs> do you reckon you have more bookings than um, 
Is that one of them? Like, yeah, what the goals? Great <laughs> yeah, people on YouTube, like on them podcasts. Oh, it's, play, it's, score it's, seven, oh, it's score so ten bollocks. Goals. We played Bradford in pre-season. Let me tell you, we got Jesus. we got a run around. They played a strong team. As in actual Bradford or Bradford Park, yeah. haven't you? No, no Bradford, Bradford City. They played a strong team. Fucking hell. And I look at the team sheet over there, I reckon nine of them played yeah. against is us. It, what's he? Cook? Striker? Andy did he Cook? Win, yeah, yeah, I think he top, did he win the gold, uh, the top yeah. goal scorer for League 2. And then, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we, he, he we played him and then... Were you marking him? <laughs> came on to the IK on second half we played because we played Bradford on the Saturday yeah, yeah. and then Preston on Sunday fuck yeah two, two games in two days against league one championship and then in bed all day Monday couldn't move yeah. <laughs> don't blame you I'd be on my ass. <laughs> but yeah like, the levels like you can tell the difference yeah people think like the levels like when you hear people say I'd score 10 goals in City's team you won't get 10 no. touches in City's team yeah and they won't even get 10 goals in a Sunday league team yeah. either five, like, sec- you're five seconds off everything like Te- technically, probably every, every player in our team would be comfortable playing in League Two. Technically, but switching on, yeah, yeah, you, you, you can tell the it's difference that as well. How yeah. fast they move the ball. They're like athletes, that. yeah. Right. So, but yeah. like I say, they, they they train every day. We train twice a week after working all day. It's a big difference, isn't it? It's it a does huge help. It does difference. help if you train every day. Like I know it's a difference from probably when I was training every day, sixteen to eighteen. Yeah, do, 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 so, do, do you, you know. find like, do you know, like from like the lone players sort of coming in from like <laughs> academies, do you find that they sort of uh, struggle to kind of 100%. Uh, adjust to it? Because obviously they're going from five days a week to two days. Is that like a big difference? No, it's just the level of train every day. Don't yeah, the level yeah. of football is completely different. It's, it'd be harder for them. You find it rare if it happens because you get good players who get sent out on loan, but you find it yeah. rare if a lad gets sent on loan to say the conference now. For him to absolutely rip it up, that's rare. Yeah, yeah. Because of the massive difference they don't in football. Stand out, do they? No. Yeah. Um, <coughs> because I always say that like, academy football and 21s football for me is quite false. When I played in it, there was no real. Not saying mean anything. You want to win. You want to win a football game. No, like, it's like exhibitions. <laughs> it is, isn't it? It is yeah. literally just exhibitions. The aren't there. Like, lads are coming down to conference north. These people's jobs at stake. There's, yeah, yeah. These people like watching you. Like you've got to win, so the pressure adds up, and then. Yeah, I have to say it's rare that you get someone unless they're really good. Yeah. For them to drop down into like the non league and smash it, then they're destined to do well because it's good for character building. Yeah, they find themselves become targets, don't they? Like surely if you're if you're on a team sheet looking at an eighteen year old kid who's just come on home from like I don't know, but someone like Rochdale or Oldham, you're looking at him thinking I'm gonna absolutely Yeah. I remember, into him. I remember watching uh Tom Calvert Lewin for Staley Bridge. I remember that. I watched him in a preseason he, game. He was probably the only he person. He was pony. That he, like, I've I've played with loads of people that no lack like, of yeah, yeah. come from pro, pro clubs and, and stuff like that. And I I remember him. He just he stood out. See, and, like the, 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 the game I watched of him was the one game I think he must have had a bad game because he was fucking pony. No, I watched him. I think. But he I scored like twenty goals that year, didn't he? Boom. My dad on Boxing Day, freezing cold. But they're, they're the times where you, you probably <coughs> find out about players like Don Galvin living there, playing on State of the Bridge. Boxing Day is not a great pitch. Yeah. But and he just, just got stuck in. I think he scored two or whatever. And he, he was class. Um, well, that, it's like that and die, isn't it? From many many players, yeah, there isn't many players that will come from pro clubs and drop down into and kind of do non-league well. and do well. But there's a lot, lot of lads from non-league who go up to pro clubs and do really well. That lad you played with it. Ryland's like Elliot, Elliot Nevitt, Nevitt, yeah, flying. Is yeah, he a stri- is he a striker? Yeah, I think yeah. he's at, at Crew now. Yeah, he was just had like a every, everything about him. Like he, he played, he was playing. You knew you'd win straight away. Like you just knew you'd win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You knew you'd win. He was he was so he was so good. I and mean, he was probably a little bit heavy, but he was so fast, strong. And then he went to he went he signed for after. The Vars, he went to Tranmere, <coughs> signed there, and then I think within like six months, you're seeing the difference. He was like trimmed down. And he was training yeah, five days a week, and it is completely different, isn't it? Yeah, he yeah. was class. Yeah, I bet, there's, I bet there's some players in your leagues that you played against, but you're like, fucking hell, you're mustard. It, it, it's, it's probably like Ellie Nevin, the best player you played with. Uh, one off. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's mad because he probably wasn't bothered. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, say him! <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say if you say Barry, you like you have all the fans be like. He's similar because he's he's strong, he's quick. I can't believe I'm saying he's quick. Jesus Christ! When we were kids, 
a big ass. Seems, <laughs> <laughs> seems not turn quicker. But you grew, you grew out of your ass. Like, yeah. oh, still, I still got, still got it. <laughs> 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 uh, you know a player when you, I always say like you know you know a player when you've um, when you played against them. Yeah, yeah. I remember years ago when I was young, like I was playing. I was at Skem and we played Hensford, I think. It was Hensford away. And a full back he was flying machine. Told the lads I said he's a good player him. Arsenal signed him about three days later. Oh, Colin Bramall yeah. they were called. Signed him from Hensford, he's at Gillingham now. But I remember playing him away at Hensford and he was an absolute flying machine, like looked like it like just levels above everyone. And I was like, yo, he's good in, weren't he? Our winger were like, yeah, he didn't get the better of me. Our <laughs> winger bought him fucking <laughs> <laughs> Do you get that quite a bit in sort of like changing rooms? People being like, oh no, nah, he's shit him. Nah, I'll mark yeah. him out of the game. Yeah. yeah. Not, Sometimes it's just mentality though. Like, yeah, yeah. People will say, like, obviously you're talking to changing rooms, don't you, before the game, the gaffer will be like, we've got to watch out for him or whatever. And pride for a lot of people and just say, like, no, he won't, he won't get the better of me, he won't do this, or he's not done this. But that's people's way of getting themselves up for it. Yeah, yeah. Because I'd, so, lo- I'd love for someone, like, playing like a dime centre half, I'd love for someone to say he's the danger man, the striker. I'd be like, well, he won't be today, sort of thing. That's my mentality. Yeah. I suppose you've got to be, because you've got to kind of get up to the game, haven't you? And yeah. Make sure that... Yeah, exactly that. Like, say, it's... He's, he, he'll be the same. Like, he, he's a massive wind-up. And that's part of his game. Like, he'll get, he'll try and get in a centre half head or whatever, and he'll do things and he'll run around and start pinching people and stuff like that, and just get in someone's head. <clears throat> you see that in the pro game, though, so often, don't you? And they're the best players, really. People just constantly wind them up. Yeah. Like, look at like, fucking Costa's probably the, the one that always sticks out for me at Chelsea. He was fucking horrible. Yeah. When we played Bradford, like the centre halves, like, I don't really notice it in the game. I woke up in the morning, my arms are blue air where they just pinch me or just roll, like, grabbing me and stuff like that. And that's how you've got to be, you can't be nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because at the end of the day, you just, like, they're, they're playing for a place in Bradford City's team. They need to make exactly, sure yeah. that, you, that you, he's not getting. Because yeah, at the end of the day, you, you were a step five club, weren't you? Coming up yeah. to them in the pre season friendly, they'd be like. But yeah, I forget the run around here. Four after job. 30 minutes. Yeah. yeah, it was, wasn't it? Yeah. It was class though, like, to see the difference in levels, like, it's what you strive for, that's what I strive for anyway. Yeah, yeah, so you're looking at me like... I think, I think, though, it was our third, was it our third game pre-season? So we probably weren't there yet, as in yeah, terms yeah. of, like, fitness and stuff. But them games, like, against the Bradford, they're, they're what you need, though. And the Preston, like, the Preston one was completely different to the Bradford one. They weren't <laughs> athletes, like, as in... They were kids at Preston though, weren't they? Yeah, they weren't like, like under twenty ones, twenty three. Six foot four, massive. Mm-hmm. They were they were small but they they were technically probably better than Bradford. Um so we had more chances and could compete a little bit more because some of us were bigger than them. Yeah, yeah. But then you could see like within the last twenty minutes of the game and they just started popping it about and that's a championship club that yeah, and obviously the centre half. Um Lad at the back with curly hair. Yeah, he's he getting good. raved about now off Preston, yeah. like saying he's the next one coming through, and he was very good. Yeah. Weren't big, quick, very good on the ball. Um, so yeah, and another ten as well. <clears throat> I think he was only sixteen. Just give us a run around. Yeah, he was so good. That's 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 the difference in it. You have little, you you see like there's one or two players because not a lot of people, not a lot of uh, players from sort of like 16 to 18 when they're the, the scholars and stuff like that a lot of them don't make it but you just see like one or two like you could see the, like the centre half he was and he, he weren't big though was he? he was like six foot no strong quick yeah, yeah, just and I'm, 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 I'm 90% sure I seen it on Twitter the other day a picture of him because I remember seeing him and there was like I can't think what his name was and there was like Preston like attracting interest from Prem Clubs now because of how good he's started off he's the next one coming through the same and, and he was playing against good. him yeah, give you confidence. Imagine if you scored against him, you'd be like, "Yeah, I scored against him." Big player. Nah. He didn't touch it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, call him, I call him shit. As well. <laughs> On that note, uh, we'll have a little break. Come back for part two. We want to dive more into life outside of football as well. Chat, chat from there. Uh, we'll see you in part two. <laughs> That gets moved to the right, and I will get. Pokey <laughs> <laughs> with it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I find a cricket though. I can watch the hundred. 
Really? I think the hundred's shit. Yeah, I think the shit. Yeah, I think it's boring. By the way, we're coming in, we're coming in on that. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll come back on the cricket. So, do, do you follow any other sports? Because you were saying that, like football is the one for you. Do you follow anything else or not really? Rugby league. Oh, I like rugby league. I like rugby league. I used to... I've, Wigan Warriors fan. Yeah, I've, I've, um, I've done a few tennis. ways. I've, I've done Leeds away. I've done uh, St. Helens away. I've done all Huddersfield that. away. I've done it. Um, Warrington away. Yeah, I've done Warrington away. I've not done like the holes yet. I've not done any holes. I want to do Wakefield and Castleford. I love golf. We love golf. <laughs> What's your handicap? Oh, do, oh, do you not want to say it? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's 47. Nine, 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 he's good. He's that's good. No, do you know what though? He's a proper, proper bandit. He loves it. He's plays all the time. Are you always in the driving range as well? Yes. Are you one of them who as soon as you hit the shot you stay there and like, oh, just swing and look back? Videos himself. I don't video myself, but I check. <laughs> <laughs> Everything I check. else is fine, I but I don't video there. myself. Uh, do you know what, right? We, we spend we spend all our time together at football and that. Yeah, yeah. And then on our days off, we'll play golf. You'll play golf together. <laughs> yeah. See him more than me, bird. <laughs> I actually yeah. see him more than anyone else. <laughs> Sure, it's good, good. I suppose it's good. I'm not bad to look, am I? No, you're not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Just nodding away like, yeah, it's fair enough. He's he's obsessed with golf, though. He spends thousands of... We, right, so we played at Denton the other day, didn't we? And, uh, what day is it? Denton's Cal- a nice Cal- course, though, isn't it? It's, it's all right, yeah. yeah it's yeah. nice, like, good, a good track. But we went, so, uh, one of the mates, he's the, he's the pro there, so... I got it. Paid... What did you get? I seen this. Yeah, you've seen it's, it's like, hat, a, flat, it's like the light hat. was shining on it. Flat it's like hat. a flat cap titleist that like a fucking cricket umpire. <laughs> 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 and you know what? Put it on. Felt good. Took it off after the first hole. <laughs> hit a bad shot. He went. See that? See that? See that? Put it back on. <laughs> couldn't hit with G to A. You had a goal. It was like everything that went. It was like coughing and that. It sound different because it all fucking enclosed. <laughs> Took it off. It's in the back of my car. <laughs> How did that affect your performance? How much is that? 30 quid. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> I want that, I want that. Stuck it on him and had a look. It's addictive. I've got an addictive personality, mate. Yeah, yeah. Could be with anything like golf, like when you've got the bug. It is a bug golf, isn't it? Are, are you like an addictive personality where you'll yeah, just I'm like not, start not, and I'm drop or are you just like, as soon as you hooked, you're hooked for like ever? No, I'm not like in that sense, but I've got a bug for golf. I'm not, yeah, yeah. I've not played much at the minute because I'm injured. <laughs> which has hurt me yeah yeah um, but yeah now the football's back on I can't play as much yeah yeah it's like summertime but that's the problem I get addicted then for six weeks people love golf though I love golf like everyone everyone who plays cricket plays golf like, yeah, it's, yeah uh, like, as soon, soon as cricket gets called off people book tea times like it's just how it happens the thing with me for cricket time. is too long yeah. no it is you're spot on yeah. I had, I had, so I, was, I think only I was sport and all to have a fucking yeah. breakfast, like a dinner break, and yeah. But tea's class though. Like yeah. when you when you, when, you, when we they were, were ki- when we were what? kids, yeah. you took some good they teas. When, when when I played the cricket, the teas were good because like everyone's like mum, mum used to do it. So each week everyone would do a different one. So you'd get paid like you'd look forward to someone's mum, wouldn't you? Quid, yeah, yeah you, so you'd look like, forward for like certain people because you yeah. knew they would do a mint job. I some people be half arsed. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Some people would just like put. I once went to like Ashton Ladysmith or something, and they literally put a plate of ham, a plate of cheese, and a plate of something else, and load a butt of bread, and just said that's it. Yeah. Fucking fuming. Cheat meal that was always good. So, so yeah, cheat, cheat meal was banging. Sometimes you'd get like, sometimes you get nothing, and then sometimes your delivery driver would turn up, and you'd have. 20 pizzas. Oh, class. Really class. There's some like, but you, you don't do them anymore because of COVID, but I'm like, why, why yeah, stop they've them? Stopped, they've stopped doing it, haven't they? Yeah. I remember the first first time I asked my mum to do it. I said, mum, it's yours. You're on the road. You've got to do it next week. I said, don't let me down. Don't <laughs> let me down. And she put an absolute spread on. Oh, and then yeah. like, it was, so, yeah. Yeah, I think they had to do it like twice a season or something. And then she'd done it towards the end of the season. She was like, I'm not going to that much effort again. And then she did it again. It was shite. <laughs> Got to go downhill from there. Fuming with her. Something that like, like we we did a cricket quite a bit. I don't know if you do still do football, but like fines. Do you do fines in at yeah. Berry? Yeah, yeah. Like at Eddie, because I remember when I was at cricket, like, I got you, people get some... fined for turning up sometimes. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. I, we had. A, I was speaking about this the other day when we was at Curzon. Like <clears throat> a lad told us, like a finalist that he's had in the past, they'd get fined if he scored. 
Find if you got man of the match. Find if you was on the front of the program. Funny. That's so, a good. No, I think that's a good one. So I like good, that if one. I, if you scored that, got man of the match, and was on the program next week. You're fucking down. <laughs> yeah. But the thing is about fans, it's good. Like the one at Berry's shop. I did. I did the fans list when I was at Witten, and I did a full A fourth. It was loads on it. Oh, you can go straight then, in, don't yeah, you? Yeah, and then. It was, I was with Ollie Martin. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we were driving in one day and I made the big one. And I was like, I said, people are just going to say I've not got the money or whatever. So, so we ordered a card machine. They said, I've not got cash. What, like a Ollie, sum up? Yeah, sum yeah. up, yeah. So Ollie just pulled it out and said, that's all right, I've got a card. Did that. Oh, and we pay card. So we had we had a card machine, so no one could go out and pay in it. But we had loads on there. Like, there was, I'd, I'd probably say it was 20, 25 things on the fans list but the only people moan about it but then at Christmas well, oh you love it you're a mint dude don't you yeah, one for me it's, is, it, it's, I don't it's, it's a bug for me at one fine that should be a thousand pound is not showering after a football yeah, game yeah I don't get it okay if you don't shower after a football game you're scruffed <laughs> <laughs> should be a grand straight down there if you if you come on fair play yeah, but you're still warmed up at that. I just If you've played 90 yeah, yeah. minutes... You put your tracky back on. No, no, no. That's not... For, that should be... I suppose if it's like a 17-year-old long kid, maybe like... Oh. No, but even more so. Oh, so put yourself in... Uncomfortable, I did it. Put yourself in a comfortable situation. Just get, jump straight in there and people be respect better, you You'll be better for it. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. Getting, uh, in, the, getting in the showers... So I can say this. When I, was, when I was 16 at Curzon, I went through to the first team. I was on the bench and... I'd even come on, but I thought, right, been told here, do you have a shower, don't? Yeah, yeah. Big keeper's gone in for the shower. No one's got up, I thought. Fucking not getting changed, I've got up, back into the shower, and they all went, I won't do that, Benito. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> fucking hell. <laughs> walked in, walked out. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I just, that's my worst, like, and like, I've got a group chat with a load, a load of lads who I played it with in Shaw last year and we're all the same. Like That's the worst thing like, yeah, for yeah. me. You've got, that's, that's a fine that should be... Oh, yeah. People say, I'll have it at home. No. Are you, are you not Are you not in fine, have... Master, though? Are you not in charge? Because otherwise, like, no. that could be... No, it's... Is it? It's Jack, Rowney, Rowney and Jack, yeah. Jack and Rowney at Berry. Did uh, you not do like, a round robin? Because some, some teams that I played, it was like someone did it every week. So then it was like fair. What they do is we do like a bit of a round robin... It takes me back to like when I was in school, that round robin. <laughs> um, they'll they'll issue like two different players to clean the changing rooms every week. Right, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're on it. I think if someone's on it, it's better because yeah, if you went round the changing rooms, you get the fucking lazy lad to half ass. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, not yeah. Bothered about it. Yeah. Couldn't be asked doing anything. Um, yeah, like Jack the keeper, he's, he does the final stuff. He's notepad, writes down straight away. Sends yeah, it in. Yeah, lovely handwriting. Right. Yeah. What did you do with your car machine? Spell them. <laughs> what? Have you still got your car machine now? Or did you have to give it to it? Or? We have no, to get it. Got it. Got it. Got you it. know what? We should get one of them for Barry because I'm I'm one of them. Yeah, I, don't, I don't get cash. Who's cash. Ca- who carries coins around? Yeah, no one carries cash. Because that's it. Cause it's only like, most of it like one like one. It's or like two the old quid. school lads, like the lads who have 30 odd. They all, I always think, they all got fucking cash on them. Yeah, but are most of them like tradies though, like. My mate who works in the trades. Yeah, they've got a Fucking whips out like 200 quid as if it's nothing. And yeah. I'm like, what, who, why have you got that in your wallet? Plumbers, plumbers. Yeah. They all don't, they all have cash in yeah. their fucking zip pockets. Yeah, because they're not. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I do the same. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so like, what are like the weirdest fines that you've ever had then? Like, what, is, what are the ones that you're like, oh, fuck yeah, like, why, do, why, do, why, do, why am I getting fined for that? Weird finds. I like, do you know what I like? The, the unusual behaviour find. No one, like, you do, like, social media posts. Social media posts. Stuff now, like that. <laughs> against Glossop, I couldn't fucking wait to tweet, like, going at Glossop, <laughs> but I get ones like, <laughs> it's always like, I've seen some, like, where team been beat 6-3 and he put buzzing to score actually but disappointed with the results <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's a big fine that's a good fine that yeah it's fair yeah. enough if you've scored and you've got beat you can't you can't talk about it yeah yeah did that's, you is that just a universal thing like talking about like your goals and stuff do you get like a universal because I remember at cricket once if you got a 15 you talk about your 50 you get a fine 
Or if you got a fifth, you got, you got hundred. Unacceptable shots someone, social media posts. It says. Yeah. It's so not, like, I think it's definitely that. Yeah. If you can't, like, yeah. If you've been beat and you are tweeting like, yeah. another one or that's yeah. a bug for <laughs> another one. You know what my one. bug is like? If you've been beat or lads and lads are putting like about assists, like just been beat 6-1 to fucking talk about that cross you did it fucking 90th minute <laughs> they're yeah. unacceptable social media posts for me yeah. if you if you scored or and you've won yeah, yeah. I accept that I'm only saying I accept that because I do it <laughs> <laughs> whereas the rest of the changing room might not <laughs> everyone more or less does it when we're winning but it's when like we, <laughs> we have a lad I'm not naming names <laughs> we got, Everyone's we got beat the other day and he tweeted about scoring and I'm thinking you can't do that it's a fines list, really. It's fucking it's like, I scored the other day. So I think when a celebrity died, you know, like Aaron Ramsey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He only scored every so often, but when he did a celebrity dies, that was like me, like, I scored for about four years. The Ringer Bell in Dane Bank when he scores. I scored and we got beat. I was fuming. Yeah. Oh, was that in the F- FA Cup game? Yeah. That's it, oh, it's going in the FA Cup. I seen one on Twitter once, it was a funny I, don't, I can't think it was real. Some guy scored two. Yeah, yeah. And they were two 0 up and he got subbed off and he tweeted saying buzzing to win when we when I was on. <laughs> oh no, no way. Oh no. <laughs> Happy with the result while I was on. Disappointed like how it ended for the lads. <laughs> for the lads had nothing to do with me. I'm filling him in if I see him at Tuesday. Surely like the manager's got to have a word with that. Like sure like, that that that's a bit of a step beyond there where you're like, come on mate. Right, yeah. So <laughs> that, that's the weirdest one. I, unusual behaviour, I don't really know what how you address unusual behaviour. I like it though, because then what, so so like what what do you do for like your Christmas sort of doing? Is it is it just solely on like fines? You like we've got a good group here, by the way. So yeah. our Christmas do will be very good. Yeah, 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 yeah. some characters this year. Right, like, I've like, had some really good ones like in the past. Like when I was at New Mills, we went Bread Hall. Now I call Bread Hall the Queen <laughs> of Dinner Ladies. Cool ass. <laughs> yeah, 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 it is full of dinner ladies, and yeah, yeah. we had a right. <laughs> we had a right good night, night out though. Like if you, if you got a good group them. of lads, I and it's in a shit hole. Yeah, no, I agree. I hate them ones when you go in Manchester and you fucking split up. I want Bread Hall yeah, together. Was in yeah, that yeah. dungeon all together. It's a shit and, hole, isn't it? Yeah, it's a and dungeon. Booted. It is a dungeon, <laughs> and it was. One of the best places. Wait, ever you went ever. suited and booted as well. We had to. It was even like, better. It's it was Chris. It was Christmas. Colin got a collar. Sometimes. You know what I like about Christmas dudes, and I say it to him. We go. I like seeing some bad gear, and we've got some lads in our changing room naming no names again who've got some bad gear. Got to be fine though. Did you do fines on on the night oh, out? I think told, you should um, do. I love him. I play with him, Briggsy. Lad, we play up front with. Um, <laughs> so he's somebody. We play. We we. we we went, um, he's like really quiet, but yeah, yeah. he's got good banter, you could tell quite dry. But we went um, to a place in Presswich, was it Presswich? Went for some food. Oh, yeah. And we told everyone in the group chat, he's fucking representing the club, wear a suit and tie, wear a fucking shirt and pants. Yeah. Do, the, do it fucking properly. Photographers there. Rowney's, R- Rowney's drove in and went, I've just seen Briggs in the car with a fucking white shirt on. <laughs> 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 Briggs, he comes in. Nice pair of straight pants, suede fucking loafers, <laughs> and an hoodie. I went, you've got that on your fucking boot, haven't you? Just pulled his hoodie off, he's got a white shirt on. We had, a, we had an Australian kid who turned up in some flowery fucking t-shirt. Yeah, flowery shirt, yeah. Pants that were up here. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> a pair of pumps. <laughs> <laughs> a pair of pumps. Where'd you get them from, Gabe? Oh, m like. <laughs> oh, it's good. So, yeah, that's what I like about like when you're going out on your... Your nights out because you see some states. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You see some states, and you could talk about like when we go out. We'll have to make sure we've not got a game on a Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a that's a must. But you just see some, some bad gear. <laughs> they might think I've got bad gear. They could be going on a podcast next week and say Tinning and Benito's gear is terrible. But there's like but I'll there's look, some shocking out there. I love looking yeah. at a bit it's of good. Bag. It's good though to to get. It, people with the, like bad gear and stuff, you have a laugh at him though. Everyone's everyone then like it's they're the the focal point of taking the piss out of him sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but when you're in the change room, like you got a kind of that's why I think when lads sink or swim sometimes, isn't it? Yeah, in, you've got to be, you yeah, be yeah. thick. But you could. You it's could, like that in every sport though. Yeah, like, you just like got... I can mention it because it fucking made me laugh when we went on Tuesday. Like when we were talking about <laughs> we're going through the goals. Yeah. <laughs> He's a big character. He's 
you know what I mean? He's got a good mentality because yeah. they kept putting on him getting megged <laughs> on, the, on the fucking telly. But he, he sat there and he's standing up and like, Sorry, that is class. It. That's <laughs> got to be done, hasn't it? It's got to be. So what, did you just literally, through the whole session, you're watching the goals? The was going, spend all that, watching the goals back and, and the gaffer's going, just spend, just re- rewind that, going through the goals that we conceded. Like, spend, pausing, re- he's pausing every time. Yeah. He's <laughs> going back. Spend, spend, like that. Again, like, <laughs> just stuck it through my legs. I'm like, no, no. But you've got to be thick skin, like. You have to be, yeah, yeah. You're a young lad coming alone and that's coming on the screen, you're thinking. Yeah. Fucking hell, yeah. yeah. But every club's like that. Like, there's not one club that isn't like that. Like, every, no, you've got, you've got, you've yeah. got to be. You've changing, got... changing rooms, I think that's like we just said, like we retire and stuff. That's the thing that I'll miss because there's, there's nothing better. It's like 18, 18 like to have, having a laugh and stuff like that because you see them more more than your mates, don't you? Yeah, of course. It's what, it's four times a week? <clears throat> right, you said he yeah. sees me more than his missus. Yeah, yeah. And you just got to kind of deal with it, haven't you? But it's like that. It's the same with it? <laughs> well, staring at me in the shower, I would have got back to him. <laughs> Walking after me with that big ass. <laughs> you mentioned his ass three times, by, by the way. Oh, that'll, that, miss, that, 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 yeah. that'll be clicked, put in your group chat constantly. And it's on Pride Weekend. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you've got a. These dark times in, like, in a changing room, if you're not yeah. doing well, all the place. What, what, what do you. So like, after a loss, like, is there. Is there, is it just complete silence or like what happens like after I've not a loss? Been, I've not been uh, beat. I've not been beat this year, so I'm <laughs> yeah. uh, Go. It can go from like one extreme to the other, like be silent, and then like someone's boiling, and then all of a sudden someone says something, and then everyone's going out. Everyone's straight in. Well, yeah, well yeah. the thing is, it, there's so much pressure. Like uh, uh, obviously at uh, this football club, there's, there's so much pressure, in there, and like so. And someone's got to say something, and the people will call each other out. And that's, well, that's the best know, thing, though. And that's when you notice who your leaders are. Like, you, I don't, you don't expect a young lad. It's good. I'd love it if a young lad said something. Spoke up in a change room. At times they do, but then that's when you, you find out who your leaders are, who your ones who you're looking to when when you're struggling because they'll be the ones who'll speak out. Because it's not easy to speak out in a change room, like. No, you be shit scared. Eight, Eighteen lads, you've got some people in there who had you. 10, 15 years experience. Yeah. You say something, everyone looks at you. Yeah, yeah. And it's quiet. Yeah, like, it's and I'm quiet. talking, you can hear the other team cheering. Like yeah, putting their music on. We've been beat like I mean, commented, we've been beat twice at home this year. And when you're in the changing room, especially because you're at Berry, they're screaming. And that like banging like on that. your door. Mm. When but we, I, I'm the worst for it. If we beat a team away from home, I'm, tw- I'm smashing their door down. Yeah, you're like, them. yeah, yeah. But then it bites you on your ass because you yeah. can hear them all singing like. And that's what you. That's when it's change rooms are lonely because <laughs> it's it it can be eerily quiet for five ten minutes. <laughs> I've had it in the past where we've been beat and I've been in the change room for an hour and a half. Yeah. Well, the, the really? night, we, we got beat the other night, and the game, what time did the game finish? Half an hour? We got home at about yeah. half 11, 12. We, we, we were still in the changing room at half 10. People, <laughs> are, shout, people are shouting at each other, throwing stuff around the changing room and stuff. We were there for an hour after. Show passion though, doesn't it? Like, it's what you, what you want, if really. If he was in a changing room, and um, you all in a shower after you got beat and got home and went had your food... I can guarantee you're either going to be going down or you've not got any chance of having any success because that just means nothing to No one cares, there. do they? No. Yeah, no one cares. You, can't, you, you want that. You want your leaders to step up and be like, mate, what were you fucking doing for that 20 minutes? Like, yeah. Boy, yeah. It's a good thing, though, that people calling each other out and stuff. And that's yeah. not like... Because it's not... It, it's yeah, it's, it's not being, it's not being if nasty. If I did something wrong in a game, yeah, yeah. you go give them, like, a, go, go see them after, I'll give them a rug or whatever, and it's all... You know, it's yeah, all because fun. if I did something yeah, yeah. wrong in a game, or if he did something wrong in a game, I'd tell him and he'd tell me, but then when we're driving home together, I'd still be talking about like what he's doing. Tonight. Yeah, yeah, it, it doesn't ham. Doesn't have, don't take it's like a professional personal. relationship, isn't it? Yeah, he, he won't yeah, take yeah. it personal, but that's how you've got to be. You've got to be. It's not. A, it's not easy. It's got to be a perfectionist, aren't you? Like you all want to win. You all you all there to win, and if you don't win, you're ruthless, like, aren't you? You've got to well, say how it is. If you yeah. don't and sugarcoat it, then people aren't going to learn. Exactly. I'd rather someone tell me like. I think you were fucking shite for the last 20 minutes of that game. I thought you were lazy and offered us nothing. I'd rather know that. Yeah, no, I agree. I, I was saying that about... Um, I hate it doing this podcast, right? When people come up to me and they're like, 
oh yeah, what are you doing in this podcast? It's really, really good. And I'm like, oh yeah, well, what's your favourite episode? Like, is there any that you didn't like? And they're like, no, no, I really like that one with... And you're like, well, you're not listening to an episode, you're just saying that because you know how to do a podcast. Yeah. Like, if you think it's shit, just tell me it's shit. Because yeah, yeah. I've, I've, had, I've had a guest on where I've messaged him, it was this lad from TikTok who does a load of football content. And I messaged him, I was like, oh, just fancy coming on, I'd love to like do a podcast with you. And he was like, I'm not going to lie, mate, I'm not going to do anything for my career. And I was like, do you know what? <laughs> It's a fucking valid point, like. yeah. but the amount of people who just ignore me and like will just like yeah. brush it under the carpet. I'd rather people just say, "No, I don't want to do it," because then it's like fair game, isn't it? You're just yeah. being real. Well, yeah, that's yeah. Fair, isn't it. I'm not wasting time. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. do you know like outside of football? Then is it just Jack that you see, or do you, or like do you, do you have like a WhatsApp chat where it's like constantly? Yeah, we have a we have a main chat and a players chat. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, outside of football, like. I always like he'll say the same. A lot of his mates now will be from people who played at football with. Yeah. Oh really? So he's like yeah. I've got my core group of mates who I've known all my life. Yes, yeah, yeah. My best mates, the lads who have. But then you pick up stragglers on the way, don't you? <laughs> but nah <laughs> I, Me and Jack never really we never really shaking his head, he wants to he, I can see him bubbling here. Never, <laughs> I can see you you want to say something. To a boxing podcast. We used to always like last year if we seen each other we'd talk. 10, 20 minutes we could talk and then probably wouldn't talk again until we played each other but now we're we're playing together I guarantee when we stop playing with each other I hope we don't I hope we retire together I do. Um, <laughs> but well, then we'll carry on speaking then yeah yeah and I've had it like with lads in, I've got a group chat like it's called a car school group chat with three lads like Brad Byrne Greg Wilkinson and Connor Brotherton I played with them last Brad year Brad Byrne Brad Byrne played cricket didn't he didn't he play for Ducky is he still with Celtic now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah but I played cricket, play cricket with Brad. Yeah, he played at Ducky. Did he? Like when I was like, Brad played through. cricket? I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah, but Brad, Brad's <laughs> older. He's getting fucked He's off Brad older than, He's Brad's older than us, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Older, I, he, you know, so like, when I was going through juniors, he yeah. was, he was, he was I'm playing older. I'm going to after this, but... He played cricket, 100% played at Ducky. Did he still have gorgeous hair then? Because he's got lovely hair, Brad. You just said actually got the same hair. Yeah, I didn't know them last year. And now you're in a good chat. Speak each other every day. Like. Yeah, yeah. I, we have a, we, I've got a chat with people from Northwich. But that was... He's got three, 16 group three, chats, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I told you he's travelled. He's travelled Burnley. I mean, he used to travel Burnley clubs. <laughs> yeah. I've got to say, I'm, still in, I'm still in chats with people from, like, Northwich, Witten. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, the, all the old clubs. Because people, you like, he's in the car school because there's people you travel in with, so... The yeah, because you, you travelled with Ollie, didn't you, to Britain? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, like you say, he would have seen Ollie every other day for yeah, a good year. Yeah. No, yeah. You, can't, you can't not be close to him, can you? That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's like work. Like, I have my workmates, because football mates are your workmates, aren't they, really? Yeah. yeah. But like, I'll have my workmates, and I'll have, and I'm trying to bring them together once going to the races, and it was like chalk and cheese. Yeah. Like, yeah, there like, is, because yeah. people have to, yeah, it's different, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Football mates and your old mates. But yeah, yeah like, it's different. You make sure outside of football. A lot of mine are from football, but um, you like to say you have your core group of mates. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So yeah. Makes complete sense as well because at the end of the day, like, if you're spending like, all your life with them, you can't not be, you can't not be decent mates with them. So unless I bet you play with some right characters all you've been like. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Who's the sort of like the best manager you you sort of like had like had like a big. Because you both played at like big clubs. Like, what managers really? Do we have to say Andy Welsh? Yeah, we have Gaff along. Gaff was good. Like, we yeah, yeah. Um, I've never had a bad manager. Me. That's a rarity. That. Um, Are they all slightly different, or have they all been? In sort every of, way, like yeah, yeah. when I was at New Mills, my gaffers were like a bit of a weird one, like. Well, like my uncles, because yeah, like, yeah. they used to play football with my dad, uh, for my dad. Um, so I had a bit of a different relationship with them, like, on an emotional level, because like, stuff I went through in that time. But then, last year, I had a lad who's at Staley Bridge now, James Kinsey, who's mm-hmm. a, t- a top guy. And then, like, now, so I've never had, like, a bad experience with us, at, like, with gaffers. That's mad, that, to be fair, because, like, I've, I've met some footballers and they've been like, yeah, I've had a... I couldn't so, work with certain ones when I'm when I'm playing yeah, against them. Yeah. yeah, I think that sometimes. Yeah, I've, I, I've, I've done it myself. I've not signed for a club like last year or in pre-season when this club said that they were interested in me. 
I'll, I'll shut it down straight away because of the gaffer. I'm not saying. Oh, is, is that a big influence? Like, because I remember you saying on the old podcast when you, as soon as Barry, you were like, yeah, straight away, I'm going there. As soon as you turn yeah, up, it, I, is, is a gaffer a big influence? Well, yeah, because if you're working under yeah. someone, you don't. But you don't like this, it, I'm not yeah. naming no names, but this person is a prick. Oh, I think he's a prick. <laughs> I, I've, I've heard some stories from like Rowie where they're like, yeah, he's a dick. And he's a dick. I can't. I'd be, I'd, if I played for him, I'd give everything, but I wouldn't want to. I just shut it down. Yeah. I have not worked under anyone like I said. No, I've, I've, I've got on with every. every like at the minute, minute, like the gaffer's good at the minute, like really good. You have arguments with him. Oh yeah, but that's all the time. Of course, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, as well, that's yeah, all yeah. Because like, you, you care. Yeah. But imagine, like, it, imagine if a manager didn't say anything to you. You'd be like, that's the worst. What, what if that's I done wrong? Thing, that, yeah, yeah. When they don't talk to you, that, that's the worst thing. Um, but yeah. In terms of, yeah, I don't think I've had a bad one. I've never, I don't, I've never been in a, in a, a team where a manager's been sacked, and a new, and a new one's coming. I've never had that. Oh right, yeah, I, I don't point. think I've had that. I bet that must be odd in Nolly because obviously Nolly's no transfer window, so he's constantly I'm bringing in yeah. players. I bet yeah. that's a big shit. I, and I, I was at, I remember I was at Paddy and the managers left. Yeah. And when they left, North Northwich put uh, said they wanted to sign me, so I went there. So yeah, I never yeah. played after like for someone else, like a, the same team but a different manager. I'd, I'd left. Um, but yeah, I've never, never. No, before. no, I've never. Because I, I I think that I just it'd feel weird, wouldn't it? Like you've you've got to start again because that manager signed you because he wants you. Yeah. And yeah. You, you're training on like on a Saturday to get sacked or whatever. You come to train on the Tuesday or whatever. And, I've never experienced that. One and thing then like, you, you don't know if he he wants you or whatever. Yeah. yeah. One thing I'd say the gaffer at the site like obviously Andy Welsh with now. He's the gaffer. He's the only gaffer I've had who's the like the level of football he's played at because he's played in the top. The yeah. Top yeah. Of the so, yeah. It's pretty mad to be fair. I, I think we'll end it on there because that camera's going to cut out soon and you two <laughs> both hungry, aren't you? Um, yeah, <laughs> go, go, go big brecky. But yeah, um, thank you very much for watching. If you are on YouTube, um, like, comment and subscribe um, so you never miss an episode. Check out the past uh, catalogue. Uh, your socials will be in the description. Do you want to shout them out now? Just in case. Do you want people to follow you or not, really? Stay away. <laughs> <laughs> if, you want to see, if you want to see Vinny, he'll talk about his goals and uh, follow me on to where. Um, there won't be any goals on mine. <laughs> Vinny Olo 98. <laughs> <laughs> and we shall see you next week. Thank you very much. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Nice one.